Hey you guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, could survival game The Forest be coming to PlayStation VR? Well, at first it would seem unlikely. Developer N Night Games only recently showcased its title at PSX, with no mention of VR support at all. But as the April release date for the PC version slowly creeps up on us, a few details are starting to leak out. Apparently The Forest on PC will feature a quote, VR game mode but we have no word on what that actually means. Is it the full game in VR, or is it just some mini-games? Now, this is an extremely graphically intense game, so I'm not terribly optimistic that it's coming to PlayStation VR, but that doesn't mean I don't have my fingers crossed. Next up, it looks like Earthlight Spacewalk will be coming to PlayStation VR. The lead game designer over at Opaque Space tweeted that they are indeed working on a PSVR version of their $10 HTC Vive game and that she's super pleased with how it's running on PSVR already. Focusing on authenticity over action, this collaboration with NASA allows you to do a spacewalk on the International Space Station. There's no release date yet, but we'll definitely keep you posted. Next up, if you haven't heard of Sirento, well, you better put it on your radar, and fast. Described as super hot meets raw data, you'll play as a cyber ninja, performing triple jumps, wall runs, power slides, backflips, and slow time all while blasting away your enemies. It features a ton of weapons, like katanas, firearms, bows, and throwing glaives. And recently, there's been a lot of confusion whether this game is actually coming to PlayStation VR. Well, we finally have confirmation from the developers themselves. Indeed it is, and hopefully by Christmas this year. And next up, we've got a quick update on Sky Climbers, an open world RPG that's coming to PlayStation VR. If this is your first time hearing about Sky Climbers, well, it takes place in the world of Taruk which is divided into four regions with seven different character races. The developers are definitely going big on this one, and trying to include all sorts of gameplay elements like platforming, archery, crafting, and melee attacks. And in this update video that's playing behind me, it looks like they've got the crafting down. It's currently only $10 on Steam Early Access, so we'll keep our expectations in check, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. And then finally, it wouldn't be a great breaking news report without the announcement of a new PlayStation VR game. This one's called In Death, and it comes to us courtesy of Soulfar Studios, the developers behind Everest VR. In Death is billed as a VR shooter with roguelike elements. As the player, you're equipped with a bow and arrow, fighting off enemies and procedurally generated worlds. This obviously reminds us a little bit of Dark Souls, and as far as difficulty is concerned, I think we're spot on. It'll feature teleportation or full locomotion. It's currently in early access on Steam for $20, and initial reviews have been extremely positive. All right, you guys, that's all the breaking news I have for you right now. But make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course, breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all.